just a short video on the restrike circuit that you'll find in certain usually metal halide fixtures, although they can be used in other high intensity discharge lights as well. Birds. Yeah, seasonal migration. And the way that's accomplished is usually something quite simple. It's a relay. However, this isn't a normal relay, because if you look at the spec plate of it, or the spec markings, shut up! You see that the coil, instead of having a potential rating, has a current rating. And the reason for that is because this relay is wired in series with the lamp. In the case of this, which is a 400 watt metal halide fixture, the normal operating current of the lamp is about 3.2 amperes. And of course, uh, H33 high pressure mercury lamps will work in this fixture as well, which are also 3.2 ampere lamps. And when the lamp starts up, the current's going to be in the order of 4 amperes or so. What that lamp current does is it causes the coil in this relay to pull in. And then should the lamp ever extinguish for whatever reason, the coil drops out and when the circuit's re-energized after, you know, much less time than it would take for the lamp to cool down enough for the arc to restrike, this relay, having dropped out, will energize an auxiliary lamp so that way the fixture is producing enough light for people to be able to see until you know the arc restrikes again and of course this lamp is a 120 volt halogen lamp I'm going to show it in a bit and that is derived from the 120 volt tapping on the ballast because this being a constant power auto transformer ballast has two separate windings there's this smaller winding with a bunch of wires coming out of it that is the auto transformer part of the ballast and then this secondary winding sort of functions as a choke but also a saturable reactor and it form and uh, really its job is to work as a tank circuit in concert with this capacitor to drive the lamp and it actually drives the lamp with fairly close to a square wave but with a peak on the leading edge of each half cycle which is why these ballasts are also called peak lead ballasts and of course the reason for the 120 volt connection on the auto transformer is if this fixture is being fed by anything other than 120 volts because this being a quad tap ballast it can also supply with or can also be supplied with 208 volts 240 volts or 277 volts uh, that transformer steps the incoming electricity down to 120 volts to drive the lamp. And of course, a lot of these ballasts are rated for it, but within reason, because these quartz restrict lamps can be up to 250 watts. Smaller ballasts than this are not going to be rated for that. Uh, in fact, a lot of smaller ballasts, you'll see a rating on it, usually in the cases of like a 100 watt mercury or similar, it'll be 100 watts or so. Um, rating for the 120 volt tap on the ballast for what it can safely drive in terms of auxiliary lamps and of course those auxiliary lamps are not for use during regular ballast operation therefore restrike purposes when the main lamp isn't lit and so the ballast isn't being loaded by it or by, by the main lamp and also this fixture is from August 22nd of 1995, the relay is made week 24 of 1995, and uh, you can definitely tell because this thing's gotten a little bit toasty. That's one problem with these uh, ballast on top high bay fixtures is the guts run really, really, really hot because they're right over the heat of the lamp. And of course the ballast is going to be dissipating you know, a good 60 odd watts as well. That's why for a lot of applications, remote ballasted fixtures are better. But that's just me. And there is the auxiliary restrike lamp. You see it's mounted on a metal arm that just extends out from where the main lamp holder 
is because the main lamp would be right here and most of the time this lamp isn't doing anything unless there's any kind of you know a momentary flicker and the lamp doesn't re and the main lamp doesn't restrike that's what this guy's job is for it's sort of kind of emergency lighting and actually some of these fixtures are available wired from the factory and of course they can also be configured to do this in the field where the supply for the restrike lamp is derived from an auxiliary power source and not the main circuit so that way the uh, restrike lamp can double as emergency lighting when wired up to a generator and also one last part of the video when dismantling these fixtures uh, like for example because I've got a number of these that I was given by a neighbor and I'm going to be reballasting a lot of them to probably 175 watt uh, metal halide ballasts that are also rated for 175 watt mercury and those oddball M107 uh, 150 watt reduced power metal halide lamps just because a not as bright because I wouldn't need it for the application I'd be using these in and also the bows are going to run a lot cooler and they're going to last a lot longer in fact I'm thinking of even doing one of these as a like a 50 watt um, high pressure sodium as kind of a high bay night light almost is to open up the ballast housing there's four screw positions on the outside but in order to fully open the ballast clamshell you also have to take out one of the screws in the lamp holder that holds the lamp holder onto the ballast uh, clamshell housing because those screws also hold the clamshell together effectively I mean those screws hold the lamp holder onto the clamshell, but in the course of doing that, they also hold the halves together, so you have to take out one of those. And of course, this being a sealed reflector high bay fixture, you also have to take out two of the screws that hold the reflector on. Here's a demonstration of the restrike. See the lamp burns momentarily until the arc gets established. And then of course once the arc strikes the main lamp, it goes out. And that kind of chunky chunky noise, that is the relay clunking when the arc establishes in the main lamp. And of course that same uh, lamp lighting of the auxiliary restrike lamp will happen when the circuit is re-energized after a momentary interruption where the main lamp hasn't had time to cool down enough yet to uh, re-establish a discharge in it. Here's the fixture reasonably run up and momentary power interruption. See so yeah, how the restrike lamp is burning. And it will keep doing that until the discharge reestablishes in the main lamp. Actually, if you look there towards the end, you can see a little bit of a flicker. But yeah, it's going to take a couple minutes for that to cool down, so I'm not going to film the whole thing. But yeah, that's how... Uh, Restrike lamps work, and what they do. And so if you've ever seen an auxiliary lamp in a discharge fixture that isn't burning and you have no idea why, well, now you do. That's what its purpose is.